This is a follow-up of the last video I made uh, about the uh, ion uh, Atmo motor uh, replication. As you can see in front of me, I've got a, a picture of the Tesla uh, Wardenclyffe Tower uh, patent uh, from 1914. I just want to throw this out there because Maybe this wasn't a transmitter at all. Maybe this was an ion collector that would then be sent to the power station, which was, if we look at the photograph, was next to the uh, tower. And then um, that would uh, power the generators. Uh, maybe it wasn't a transmitter as suggested. Because if, if, as we look at the next patent here, from H. Plosum, uh, we have an um, ion harvester. Uh, he's using, of course, it would be a um, Van de Graaff generator, as opposed to this which I think is what it's used for as you can see you have uh, you have the spark gap we have a spark gap collection point collection point we also have uh, L1 L2 L1 L2 and uh, I think there's some connection here Looking at these, this would be the Wardenclyffe Tower collection point. So, the next idea will be to minimalize this. Um, but also have the uh, coil arrangement, so we have a minimum of a thousand turns. This would then give me the height <coughs> of uh, 60 meters, um, which should, um, should give me what I need to start my uh, Atmo motor, um, as it's very, very difficult to uh, find a place to uh, take my antenna up uh, where we live. There's a lot more laws here in Denmark. So I'm just putting that out there. Um, come back with your comments if you think uh, you don't agree or if you agree, uh, what could be other options. And if there is others out there that have uh, some large Tesla towers, could you rearrange it uh, not to pump energy into it to cause your uh, sparks flying out the top or maybe passively use it as a collector and then show the results energy harvesting <laughs>